Today I'm finally gonna finish cleaning the beams. I always have to do other stuff because we just live here two months. So you have to do this and that. But today I'm gonna finish it so it's clean. For the rest I'm not gonna do anything with it for now. Enjoy. And I have some lights now. Last time I was in here there were some bats already. Just small ones like this. Let's have a look if they are inside. Let's see them. I'm gonna go on the other side of the barn now. I'm gonna clean the little beams there. And there's a concrete pad here. I'm gonna clean it as well. And I'm finished cleaning for now in this barn. Here was the hay attic. The cows would be in there where I was cleaning the beams. Their head would be poking out and here they would get food. Over time this has changed. They put concrete here, concrete there. That's why the, the wood is rotting because the moisture gets into the concrete and gets into the wood. The same beams we were cleaning there. I'm gonna clean the little part here. Clean this a little bit and then for now this is finished. We're here in the new barn. You've seen me cleaning these beams. In the meanwhile, I've been doing other stuff, but all this is clean. And now I'm gonna, you see the wood rot here. I'm gonna clean it off with a wire brush. So all the bad wood is gone. And then I'm gonna treat it against woodworm and probably paint the beams as well so the woodworm doesn't return. Some beams are pretty bad but if you look at the size of them they shouldn't be too weakened. If a beam isn't good I can always replace it. It's just important it's treated so it doesn't come back the infestation. It's not all of them and not all parts and this is like the worst one and this one as well but for the rest it's pretty solid. You have another one over here. This one is pretty bad with woodworm as well. I don't know if the infestation is alive or not, or if the beams have been treated. I don't think so, because the beams still have the same original color. This is the tool I will be using. You put it on a disc grinder, it's just steel. For this I'm gonna put on a mask, because I think it will be making a lot of dust. And if this wood has been treated before, I don't want to be breathing in those particles. Okay, it works pretty good. It works with this, but I'm gonna try a metal one I have to clean metal. It might be a bit too rough on the wood, but we'll see. These ones, they're for cleaning rust out of metal. I have a small one. This is a lot more rough. 
than this one. See, this is more like a brush. It works pretty good, but I don't know if it's taking enough of the rot away. So we'll try it with the rough one. It's taking a bit more off, but there's not a dramatic difference between the two. This one is a little bit more easy to handle though. The one with the soft brush tends to slip more out of your hands. So I think I'll use this one. The only other way I can think of removing the rod but then fully is with a saw cutting it away but then you're cutting into good wood as well so i'm gonna leave it like this it's been cleaned and it's gonna be better for the treatment to go inside and kill them if they are left Okay, finished. Next thing to do is I'm gonna sand the beams and then they need to be vacuumed again and then apply product. And then afterwards, I think 48 hours it needs to dry and then probably paint the beams so the woodworm doesn't return. Okay, time to sand it and remove any nails that I forgot last time. dinner tonight soft tacos chicken fried vegetables and toppings fresh mexican salsa cheddar and sour cream What do you have there, Philip? Chicken. Chickens? Chickens? How many? Two. Two more? Two more chickens. We need more eggs. <laughs> yeah, two more sisters. Oh, they're big. Hello there. It's a zoo. Lissy. <laughs> Lissy. Philippe, what are we gonna do with the new chickens? Lock them up for 24 hours. And We're then? gonna spend the night with the existing inhabitants. Okay, day two. This is a smaller part. I don't need my ladder over here. Uh, first I'm gonna remove all the electricity, the lights, clean it up a little bit more and then sand it. 
and then uh, it's uh, just uh, general cleaning, vacuuming and uh, applying the product. This is how beam looks. And if you hit it, just hold rises. Just so you know, we call this a new barn, but it's already been here for uh, 60 years. So it's quite okay for untreated beams after 60 years to have a little bit of rot. And hopefully after they've been treated and painted, they'll be here for another 100 years. And we're not keeping them because they're pretty. It's just uh, financially, if you have to remove all these beams and put new ones in, just so you don't have the little holes, it's a lot of money. I haven't seen any larvae. It's little worms, larvae I think they're called. They eat the wood. And once they're ready to hatch, the beetle comes out, then lays new eggs on another beam. But I haven't seen any, so it might have just been a dead infestation already. It is grinding time. Let's make some dust. I'm gonna fly my eyes, even though I'm wearing glasses. It's amazing. See the color here? That's the good wood. This is still a little bit of bad wood. With the metal brush I can't get this off. I can grind it a little bit flat and remove some really loose parts. But to get it like this, I have to do it with a chisel. So that's the question. Do I go for pretty? With all the rot is gone. Even though this is already pretty hard, the really loose stuff is gone. But the question is, do you go for pretty or do you go for half pretty? Hmm. If I go with the chisel first and then with the grinder, then it's pretty smooth and it's on the really good part of the wood. It's all in the prep work. It's like when you paint a car or paint your house. If you don't do the prep, then the result will not be as good. This is an old uh, waffle iron. You see? I ain't gonna throw it away.
Another fun job to do is cleaning the filters of the vacuum. It's a dirty job, but someone's gotta do it. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Madame Maison is there already? Hmm. Interesting that the other chickens are staying inside. Two red ones and two black chickens. Whoever. Okay, we'll see later if they exit. The black ones have been inside the coop for 24 hours now, so hopefully it should be enough. And hopefully they follow our other existing chickens inside tonight. Uh. Madame Sauvage and Madame Maison. Okay, yesterday I finished the day with cleaning out the, the filters of the vacuum. Today we're gonna remove all the metal fittings here. I think this was water for the cows. The chains to latch the cows onto. And then this, the metal bar. And then the barn is finished for uh, applying the product. These guys are still kind of in between their coop and the outside world. One of these two didn't want to get inside yesterday. I think we spent about 20 minutes trying to get her in. I eventually caught her, but she put up a fight and I was able to take her and put her inside. Don't want to lose you to the foxes. There's these little stops left. If you leave them and you forget about them and you pass here, you're gonna get a nasty cut. And there we go. I'm gonna get rid of the nettles here around the chicken coop because as you can see, they have been growing again. The thing is, when you have lots of land, you have lots of maintenance as well. Which I don't mind, but it's something that you have to calculate in your day. I was talking about cleaning the garden. Uh, I was doing it with a little one, but it didn't work out. So I'm going to use the big trimmer again, but I have to sharpen the blades. should be a little bit better. The thing is there's a lot of rocks here so to get some abuse. 